What's up YouTube? It's me Jess and I'm an opera singer. Today's video is patron pick of the month and for this month they have chosen FKA Twigs singing Home With You from her Tiny Desk concert. Let's go. I'm so wild, bought it, seen it, tried it, I die for you on my terms when I get my lessons, learned apples, cherries, pain, breathe in, breathe out, pain, no, no, no the cane, still maintain my grace. How come the more you have, the more the people want from you? More you burn away, the more the people earn from you. More you pull away, the more that they depend on you. I've never seen a hero like me in a sci-fi. So I wonder if he needs or even men for me. I wonder Ooh. if you think that I can never raise you up. Wonder if you think that I can never help you fly. Never seen a hero like me in a sci-fi. But I'd save a life if I thought it belonged to you. Mary Magdalene would never let her loved ones die. I've got to pause here. Wow, that was so beautiful. God, where do I start? First off, let me look up these lyrics because there is a lot of words in this song. Interesting. Before we dive into the lyrics, I want to talk about the music because we got some really interesting sounds before she even started singing anything. The first uh, note within the first chord that really stuck out was a G sharp or A flat depending on what key we're in. Now that G sharp in relation to C major is the raised fifth scale degree which is very, very interesting, one, to hear in a pop song um, or in pop in general. I don't think it's used that often. And then also to hear it as your very first chord. Hits you in the face like, whoa, where are we? Literally, what key are we in? Where are we going? Then you get that resolution going up to the sixth scale degree. Then that goes down to the third scale degree. And here, I get a bit of sense of where we're going because from here what sounds like the home note in this song da, da, a major third away from that so I just thought that that was very just striking very very cool use of just sound right off the gate then on top of that to kind of go with that idea of surprise and delayed resolution we got spoken word, not a melody. No, we got straight up spoken words. So I thought that paired really well with this idea of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run with this, tension and delayed resolution. We got tension within that first chord. Now we get some tension in a sense of, we're almost just assuming that we're going to hear some sort of melodic line, right? This is a song, unless you know her. For me, just right off the bat, this was, a sense of delayed resolution because I'm expecting or assuming to hear a melodic line. Not only do I not get that right off the bat, I don't get it for a while. And I thought it was interesting when she chose to bring in the melodic line. And before I talk about that, the delivery of her text when she's doing the spoken word is sick. It's spot on. I liked how there was um, a rhythmic change, I believe on the word Less, no, lessons are learned. Die for you on my terms when I get my lessons. 
learned apples. That pause right before we get the word learned, I thought was just a really cool rhythmic variation. Now, let's talk about when she decided to bring in the melodic line, because that's a really important question to ask. Okay, so she decided to bring the melody on the words, the more you have, the more that people want from you. Just before this, she asks a question, how come? Now, this section to me and my ears, I only heard it once, right? So I'm trying to pick up what I can. But it kind of sounded like she was on the verge of spoken word and going into a melody. No, 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 the king still maintain my grace. How come the more you have, the more that people want from you? Like it wasn't 100% one or 100% the other. So it kind of seemed like she was transitioning to go somewhere. And I thought that was interesting on the words, how come? Then she chooses to bring in the melodic line starting on the more you have, the more that people want from you. How interesting. We have to ask, why did she choose to bring the melodic line here? Is it because of where it's structured within the song? Is it because of the words that is being said? Was it random? Well, I like to find meaning into why that is happening. Let's read what was happening before this. I'm so wired for it. Seen it, tried it, I die for you on my terms. When I get my lessons learned, apples, cherries, pain. Breathe in, breathe out, pain. No, no, Novocaine. Still maintain my grace. How come? Maybe these words are somewhat of an answer to the question she just asked how come and now she decides to put a melodic line on the words following in order to really grasp your ear to listen to the answer of why how come when you're hearing the spoken word it sounds really dope sounds really cool and the delivery is great but you really do have to listen to figure out where the structure of the sentence is where the beginning of the sentence is where it possibly ends even in this translation it looks like it could start and end in different places. I'm so wired for it, seen it, tried it, I die for you on my terms. When I get my lessons, learned apples, cherries, pain, breathe in, breathe out, pain. That being said, we get much more clarity and much more of a through line when the melodic line comes, which is a nice resolution to this sort of tension, almost anticipation of what the heck is happening. This isn't a typical structure of songwriting. I didn't know that you were
Yes. Wow, okay, wow, who composed this? I don't know what category she considers help herself to be in, genre-wise, but she is really, really interesting. So much to break down. Let me think this over and figure out how I'm gonna break this down into categories. Okay, first let's talk about the voice. I wonder if she's classically trained. She's got a very light, effortless, old school quality within the upper register of her voice. She's got a little bit of a faster vibrato, not overly fast, but a little bit faster. The pinginess of it just gives me this old school, old school vibe. I was super surprised because we didn't get much like chest voice or um, I don't want to say powerful as if her upper register without chest voice isn't powerful, but just that earthiness behind a chest voice in her upper register until she gave some mixed voice. I believe the second time she started to sing, I didn't know that you were lonely. And when I heard the quality of her voice, I didn't know that you were lonely. I was like oh wow I am super interested to hear more of that earthy or foundation that a chess voice can give in uh, certain registers I didn't need it here in this song but I'm super curious to hear it in other songs that was a nice surprise now structure of this piece I thought it was captivating how She's saying, I didn't know that you were lonely. If you'd have just told me, I'd be home with you. The first time she sang these words, she sang it a cappella. I didn't know that you were lonely. If you'd have just told me, I. Again, this idea of delayed resolution in a in a sense of something comes to you that is not expected, and then what you're what you're assuming that should take place, which is also a flaw and a fault in respect to the listener, but what you expect to come 
doesn't come until later. So I thought that the structure of that was interesting, especially compared to when she sings it for the final time, because right when she sings it the final time, I believe she was accompanied with either the cello or the double bass, but a stringed instrument. My god, the contrast between just those two sections with the same words alone is mind-blowing. If you'd have just told me I'd be home with you I didn't know that you were lonely There's something about the strings too. I felt like it symbolized the words in a much different way but still equally effective way. What a genius thing to do to drop all music and just make that your voice in this idea of loneliness. The second time to bring in one of the saddest sounding instruments like ever created, the stringed instrument. To come in with you the last and final time, she says, I didn't know that you were lonely. Just a beautiful way to capture the symbolism of being lonely. Now structure point number two. The first time she sings the chorus, when it ends, if you'd, sorry, I'm looking at the lyrics on the screen, if you'd have just told me, I'd be running down the hills to you. Then that transitions into, when I visualize, all I see is black. This transition, she decides to bring what was in the beginning of the song, spoken word. When I visualize, all I see is black. Though this is very different, I really like it because there seems to be a little bit of chaos because of the actual lyrics. So she's singing this beautiful, gorgeous, melodic line on, I didn't know that you were lonely. If you just have told me, I'd be home with you. I didn't know that you were lonely. If you just have told me, oh, I'd be running down the hills to you. That sounds like it should have some sort of beautiful melodic line, right? Then the next words, when I visualize all I see is black, throw me to the floor just a little more, get it on, cause I know I've been gone. That sounds a bit more, whoa, chaotic, a lot going on. So the idea to change that up a bit and just say, screw the melody essentially, I'm just gonna speak this out, I thought was a cool thing to add to the song. Then last and finally, structurally, that last bit of the song, right before she sang the final word, two, where it was just instrumentation. I, I, I gotta figure out who um, composed this because they deserve a huge shout out. It was so ethereal and euphoric. And I thought it was really interesting that there was a bit of chaos within the stringed instruments. I don't know if it was the cello or the double bass, one of the two, but it was just going back and forth. <laughs> On top of that, you have this beautiful melody going on within the piano part. That really correlates with my what I kind of am summarizing this piece as, as the idea of tension and delayed resolution. Now you kind of have the two smashing into each other. You've got the tension from the strings with this beautiful, um, melodic, very harmonious sound in the piano playing at the same time. Enjoy the fact that they're both coexisting. Then you finally get this gorgeous resolution with silence right before she sings the word two. I feel like I get the best of both worlds because I get to hear this classical sound within the voice, but also that is mixed with a bit of a poppy contemporary sound, all enraptured in this very full, beautiful sound within live instrumentation. You just, it doesn't really get better than that. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Comment down below, one, if you've heard of FKA Twigs before, and two, 
what other piece you recommend me to listen to by her. Lastly, make sure you check out the description box for ways you can keep in touch with me, get access to exclusive perks, and or take an artistic development lesson with me. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm so wired for it, seen it, tried it, I die for you on my toes when I get my lessons, learned apples, cherries, pain, breathe in, breathe out, pain, no, no, no cane. still maintain my grace. How come the more you have, the more that people want from you? More you burn away, the more that people earn from you. More you pull away, the more that they depend on you. I've never seen a hero like me in a sci-fi. So I wonder if your needs are even meant for me. I wonder if you think that I can never raise you. Wonder if you think that I can never help you fly Never seen a hero like me in a sci-fi But I'd save a life if I thought it belonged to you Mary Magdalene would never let her loved ones die